Hello everybody, I'm Disco Dog and I'm going to help you with your art today. Yes guys, Disco Dog is going to help us with our art today and we are going to be making a happy cloud hanging. This is something you could hang in your window or put on your door. It will look really, really good. And we're trying to do it with things that you can find at home really easy. So we're going to be using some recycled materials today. So you might want to have a look in your recycle bin and see if you can find some things to help you with this. So some of the things we're going to need are some wool or some string. We're going to need something like this. This is an old Argos catalogue, but you can use anything you've got. It could even be old letters that you get through the mailbox, or it could be some old colouring in pictures that you might have done you don't want anymore. Anything that's got lots and lots of colour on it, so we can make things from that. We're going to need some scissors, and we're also going to need a cup and a pen for drawing round. Now you're going to also need some glue. I'm going to use two types of glue for this, but you don't have to use both of them. You could just use one. Glue stick is really good for sticking paper. So that's what I'm going to use for sticking the paper. And the liquid glue is really good for sticking things that are a little bit trickier. So that's what I'm going to use for something else, which I'll show you in a minute. Now we're also going to be using some straws, some old straws, or if you've got them, you could use cocktail sticks as well. So cocktail sticks might be slightly easier, otherwise you can use straws. If you don't have either of these things, you can use some sticks. You can go out into the garden and find some sticks and use those. Your sticks will need to be about this long, this long, okay? So see if you can find some of the stuff that you need. And the last thing that you're going to need, oh, two last things you're going to need is some cotton wool. Or if you don't have cotton wool, you can use tissue instead, tissue paper. And you're going to need a piece of card, quite a large piece of card. So if you've got an old pizza box or something like that in a recycling bag, see if you can use that. I'm just using an old piece of box that we have in the school. So those are the things we're going to need. We're going to get started now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to use this card to make our cloud shape. So I'm going to use my cup and my pen to do this. Now clouds, as we know, are nice and fluffy. Lots of circles going around the side. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to draw half circles with our cup to help us. So you draw a half circle, then you put your cup next to it and you draw another half circle. And you keep going round until you've got a cloud shape. There we go, a nice cloud shape. Make sure you put your lid back on your pen when you're finished with it. Now I'm gonna cut that out. You might need a grown-up to help you with this because card can be quite tricky to cut out. Okay, now we've got our cloud shape. We are going to use the liquid glue and we're going to paint all over. Now if you're doing this at your kitchen table, you might want to put something down so you don't get glue all over your table. You're probably going to get sticky hands doing this too, but don't worry, you can always wash your hands. Okay, so now I've got glue all over my card. I'm going to use the cotton wool to make a nice fluffy cloud. So you just pull the bits of cotton wool out and stick them on. Make sure you cover up all of the brown bit of your card. I always use the brown side of the card instead of the other side because it sticks a little bit better.
Okay, give it a good press down. And that's our cloud made. Right, we're gonna put that over here to dry. And we're gonna get started on our umbrellas now. Now the umbrellas are going to look like this. And it looks quite complicated to make this, but actually not too tricky. So these are the things you're gonna to need to make your umbrellas. First of all, you're going to need some of the paper that we talked about. So this could be your catalogue paper or your colouring in pages, whatever paper you can find that's got a little bit of colour on it. So you're going to need your paper and you're going to need your cup and your pen again. So if you put lots of sheets of paper together, you can cut lots at the same time. Pen over the cup over the top and then draw around with your pen. And for each umbrella, you're going to need about eight circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Okay, so now take one circle and you're going to fold it in half. So folding it in half, so it's half a circle now. And then you're going to fold it again, so it turns into a quarter of a circle. So it's going to look like this, like a pizza slice. Okay, and you need to do that with all of your circles. Here we go. Okay, now you've got all of those folded, we're going to need our glue stick. And what we're going to do is a little bit fiddly, we are going to stick the inside pieces together. So can you see, this is not stuck together, it flaps like that. What we wanna do is stick it so the inside pieces stick together like this. So you fold it out, put a little bit of glue down the middle, and a little bit going just round the curve, not too far. Then fold it over and then it's stuck like this now. That's what we want all of them to be stuck like. Okay, I'll show you one more time. So fold it out, glue down the middle, a little bit round the corner, press it over. Okay, we're gonna do all of those now. So we're gonna take the first one and put some glue down the side. And then the next one is just gonna go straight on top. And press it down, glue on top, put the next one on, and then press it down. And we keep going until we've used all of them.
Okay, once that is dry, you'll be able to take the two edges and turn it all the way around and it will make this shape. Okay, but we're not gonna do that just yet because we need to stick in our handle for our umbrella. So I'm gonna use the straw. I'm gonna cut it in half. And then I'm gonna use my pen just to flatten the very end of the straw. So it's flat at the end. Now we're gonna need some wool. So quite a long piece of wool. And I'm gonna wrap that around the very end where it is flat, so around the flat end. Again, grown-ups are really helpful for helping you with the fiddly stuff. Now, that wool is not attached, but we're gonna stick the whole thing in so it will all stay in together. I'm gonna take our umbrella and put some glue along the edge like this. And I'm gonna lay my stick there with the flat edges, but the wool needs to go up the other end. That's very important. The wool's coming out the top of the umbrella, not the bottom. So now I've got that stuck on. Carefully fold it all the way round. And remember where we folded our umbrella to start off with to make those shapes. We need to stick and fold it exactly the same place. So we're just gonna stick along the curve here and then that will all be stuck together. So a little bit of glue on that curve. Don't fall off, stick. Then squeeze all that together. Making sure it's all stuck and we've got our umbrella. Okay, I'm gonna leave that to dry for a little bit. Now we are going to make some eyes and a mouth for our clown. So I have got here a piece of paper from the catalogue that I think is a nice colour and I took my pen and I drew some eyes and then I started to draw the inside of the eye here. So I'm going to colour that in. So I've got the inside of one eye and I'm going to do the other one and colour that in too. Okay, there's our nice eyes. Now, this is going to be tricky to see, but I'm going to draw a smiley face on this black part of the picture here. And I'm gonna cut it all out. Yeah, I'm gonna make my cloud look a bit crazy. Now, let's take my cloud back. I'm gonna stick the face on here. I'm gonna use the liquid glue for this because it'll be a bit easier. So put a little bit of the liquid glue on the back of the smile. And on the back of the eyes. So now all we need to do is attach those umbrellas to the back. You can do that with sellotape or you could do it with glue. So if you've got sellotape available, that would be the easiest thing to use. Otherwise, you can use a bit of glue and do it. Um, so I'm going to turn this over. I've actually got some masking tape, which is really good for this. Take my umbrella and decide where I want it to hang. So when it is up like this, your umbrella is going to be hanging from underneath your cloud. That's a bit tricky to see. So 
So I'm going to tape the umbrellas at the back, different lengths. Okay, now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put something so we can hang it. So I've got one of the scrap pieces of wool and I'm just going to stick it to the top in a loop like that. We've got our happy cloud with umbrellas hanging down the bottom. Now I've done four umbrellas. You don't have to, you can do more, you can do less, but good luck, have fun. And I hope you have a lovely time doing our collage lesson today. So today's lesson is all about putting lots and lots of different materials together to make things look amazing like this happy cloud on a gloomy day. What do we think, Disco Dog? Awesome! Bye!